Why doesn't he understand? Can't he get it through his thick head? I need to sleep with the window open. I can't sleep when the window is closed. I find it suffocating, especially in these summer months. Everything has to be done her way. What I want doesn't seem to matter. We live by the sea, for Christ's sake. As soon as the sun comes up, the seagulls come out. That constant fucking noise. He says the noise wakes him up. I say it's his snoring that wakes me up. Seagulls are a piece of piss compared to the snorting and grunting I have to put up with every night. He's bloody selfish. He's always been like that. And before you say, why did you go and live at the seaside if you don't like the sound of seagulls? I've lived here most of my life. And it's never bothered me before. But now, now it does. He's a typical Yorkshireman, never shows his emotions, never cries at a sad film, never gets jealous when Alan from down the road flirts with me. He never shed a tear when... when... never mind. Oh, but he'll get upset at a seagull crying outside his window. It's the sound, you see. The sound of the seagulls. Sometimes, when I'm half asleep, I can hear the seagulls crying and it, it sounds like a baby. Like a baby crying out to his parents. I wake up and my heart begins to thump. Sometimes, I really want to talk about her. I look over at him sat in his chair and I open my mouth to speak. But he just has this blank look on his face. So I don't bother. I just go back to watching Bargain Hunt. In the dead of night, when the seagulls are silent, I imagine I can still hear that noise. The crying. I dream about wandering around the house looking for her. She sounds so close. I can almost touch her. But she's gone. She's gone. And everything we ever had together is gone too.